Okay, so this is an initial impressions uh, review of my new Bodum Bistro burr grinder, coffee burr grinder, uh, in lime green. And this is a new machine that I got to replace this Cuisinart coffee bar coffee mill with two bean chambers that let you create your own custom blend. Well, uh, I removed the divider that would go in here to separate the two bean chambers, but this one uh, unfortunately broke uh, this little piece. Uh, it's supposed to fit in here and, and push down when the lid is on, and it's sort of a safety that you know won't let you turn on the bar, uh, the coffee mill when it's not in, and so it's broken. And generally, uh, I've been kind of annoyed with this thing because it's so loud and so messy uh, that I just wanted to get a new coffee grinder. Uh, so French press we normally do. Uh, Drip coffee during the week when we're busy and we want to make a large pot and then also uh, one cup at a time. So we, we do all of that. I don't have an espresso machine so I can't speak to that. Um, but this one you can adjust the fineness, coarseness, but this thing always gets stuck if I try to do any sort of fine grinding. Uh, and it's so loud. Now I'm going to give you a little demonstration of this one. <laughs> pretty loud and makes quite a lot of static uh, mess and uh, it's just generally very messy and the grounds are not super fine, uh, super consistent I should say. So what I want to do is walk through this coffee bistro. This comes with a borosilicate container, in other words glass. It has a nice little pop top that is uh, like silicon or, or some other sort of uh, malleable, pliable uh, synthetic and goes right in there, creates a nice little seal then it's got this small hole on the top where the grounds will go into and it, it slides in there very snugly and, uh, and, and doesn't leave much room for grounds or dust to fly out. The top portion has a sealed lid uh, that will uh, keep the coffee fresh once once it's in there, and then you adjust the grind uh, coarseness by twisting here when the coffee grounds are in, from French press to I guess that's a drip, and there's a little spoon icon on the side for espresso fineness. No Turkish here. There's a 20 second timer. 5, 10, 15, and 20. And what's kind of cool is this has an on-off switch here. So uh, the red light will come on. Let me unplug the Cuisinart. Plug in the new one. The red light will come on once it's on. And then uh, to start the thing, you actually have another little standby off and on switch right here. So you press this and you set your timer and it will go off automatically if you don't push it again. But if you have enough grounds, you can push this button again and it will turn off whenever you want it to. So if you figure that you have enough, just hit that and it will switch off. So I'm going to have it set to medium uh, drip and I'm going to load up some coffee in here. We'll see how it grinds. Okay, well I have the Cuisinart, the old Cuisinart disassembled. You can see it's a conical burr grinder. And uh, this is how it's adjusted by this dial here. And this pops out. Burrs. It's not bad, um, but it's loud, it's messy, creates a lot of static. So we'll check this guy out. So I got the on button on. It's in there. I got loaded up with some beans. I'm going to set it on 15 second timer and this will be its first run. So I've never turned this on before. And hopefully it goes well.
15 seconds. Shut off by itself. Now, the timer didn't count down. It didn't like tick, 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 like an egg timer. It just stayed right there and it knows when to stop. How do it know? Okay, here for me is the all important test. I'm going to wipe the counter clean of the coffee grounds from the stupid Cuisinart. And uh, there's some coffee stains there. Okay. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how many, I'm expecting dust to just fly everywhere. Uh, it's going to be super messy because that's what I learned to expect from the Cuisinart. We'll see what happens. Okay, this is not a very good test subject. All right, here it goes. Oh, no dust. A little bit around the top edge of that container there, you could see some. However, uh, let's see if I pull this lid off here. Ooh, smells good. Okay, there's some dust on the lid. It's not really getting everywhere, and I'd probably leave the lid on in the normal course of events just to pour it right into the uh, the French press or that jobber or that gold cone filter. And it's not, I mean, normally the grinds would jump around, literally with static. And here they're staying still, and uh, they're not moving. So, not really, no, not really any more, and I just set the lid there. So this is the dust that it made, which is the tiniest little pile there. And normally I would be scooping up like, you know, a spoonful at least from this guy. So that makes me happy, and it was relatively quiet, uh, and the grounds are very consistent in size, very, very consistent, and they look nice, and they smell terrific. So uh, first impressions, I would give it a thumbs way up, thumbs way up, and there you have it. Enjoy, and uh, drink coffee.